the private sector has to basically prove their innocence. innocence. They have a very, very bad history of uh, uh, action in Africa back in the 80s. That was notably Nestle with the substitutes for breast milk. And back at the time, they've done a lot of damage uh, in terms of nutrition and for the children and for the women. So they've been ever since that time, uh, the private sector, mainly Nestle and other companies, have been trying to basically, you know, atone for what they've done. So they still haven't convinced the, completely convinced the nutrition community and there's still a lot of um, uh, worry from uh, the public health side about the involvement of the private sector. But that worry now is mainly, uh, 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 how to say, is mainly um, c confined to the old gods. The new generation actually want, uh, understands and wants more collaboration with the private sector. So the idea here is to find common ground uh, between the public sector and the private sector uh, in terms of nutrition, common goals, and these are certainly there and they can be found. And actually there are very nice examples of projects uh, such as the fortification of the bouillon cubes that have proved that, you know, that, that actually those kind of collaborations can generate a lot of benefit for both. Uh, so the, to get the private sector involved, uh, there, the, there must be, uh, you know, like a compelling idea in terms of nutrition, uh, but, but, but also it has to be an idea that can still generate revenue and money for them and have, of course, the side benefit of having a public health impact.